Good morning. It's Friday the 8th of October and it's about 9.30. Now, I was to work this morning. I arrived at work at 7 o'clock. Don't need to be told that the job was cancelled due to bad weather. And it was. It was raining at that point. But less than two and a half hours later, the rain has stopped. The sky is clear and I'm off to the beach. Now today I'm going to go back and revisit the bird sanctuary and by the way that's my resident Tui singing in the background on my, in my tree. Um, one of the real pleasures in life and I hope to bring him into the videos more and more over time. Anyway I'm off now. High tide is at 11 o'clock and I hope to be there well before that. Thank you. I made it to the beach and I spent a bit of time uh, wandering around the Ramsar Reserve in the Manawatu Estuary and the disappointing thing is, is that there's very little in the way of birds there. The locals tell us that the Vartal Godwits, which are the migrants which come here every year, arrived and they went south along with a group of other birds um, to around about another 25 to 30 kilometres further south. It could be actually further than that. It could be probably closer to 40 kilometres further south. So that's a bit disappointing to be fair. I've taken some photos and I'll put them up now and you can watch those as I talk my way through. The birds that were there were the um, Royal Spoonville, which I was able to get some shots of them at a fair, fair distance away. The Royal Spoonville are a bird with a beak that is designed to filter small, um, almost microscopic um, animals out of the water or insects out of the water and so they can eat them that way so they've got this big and it's like a spoon on the end of their beak and they just run it through the water backwards and forwards and strain the um, invertebrates out of the water. The other bird which um, I took quite a bit of notice of was uh, the morning swallows and they were they're known as morning swallows or sometimes barn swallows I think in in England um, they were around a little duck pond um, and beautiful birds. They're little tiny birds. They're smaller than a sparrow uh, with a little bit of a red head and um, quite shy and quite flighty, almost impossible to photograph in the air. The surf is well in. We've got a very high tide today, a two and a half metre tide, which is quite high. Anyway, so that's that. So I've left with a certain lack of material for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit more of a weather research. The weather forecast might have changed. Um, and maybe go the long way home and just see what I can get on the way home. It's a beautiful day now. We started off with... Um, rain in Palmerston North at first thing uh, and that's why on this Friday um, work was cancelled for today which to be honest I've got mixed feelings about it would be the first full five day week I've done for a while um, but so so far it's only going to be four days so that's okay so look stay with me I'll um see what else I can find. Thank you. Good morning. It's Saturday the 9th of October. Now it's just gone dawn, the sun is just coming up and I've just done my first uh, panorama for the day and I'm here back on Mount Kill Road it's too windy outside to record with the GoPro. Recording a dawn panorama of 
this beautiful vista. Use of lands in the foreground, um, lots of different trees in the medium distance and uh, hazy and foggy hills just being highlight in the further ground. And when I got out of bed, I was going east um, and as I went further east, the cloud got thicker and thicker and it was pretty obvious that it wasn't going to be a fantastic sunrise going east. So I turned around and went the opposite direction and I'm now in the Rangitiki um, completing the trip that I started probably about a month ago um, and just going back to those spots, favourite spots where I enjoy the composition and just going back to get them in different lights. So uh, that's it for now. I've, you've already seen uh, some, some of the examples of the photos that I've taken now and I'll add these as time goes on. Thank you. Well, I'm back on Warren's Road and the sun is well and truly up now. And Warren's Road is where I discovered about six months ago this dead tree over here, which I photographed <clears throat> as the sun was going down last time. And this time the sun's coming up. It's um, equally attractive with the sun coming up. Paint put it in the um, left hand side of the picture and just left <clears throat> let the rest of it fall into place. Well the sun is well up now and I've stopped here just close to Turakina Valley Road and taken a photograph of this old school. I've done three different exposures, so I'm just going to see whether it will make an HDR uh, image. I'm probably going to wind um, the video up now, because the sun's getting well up and the day is getting older. It is a beautiful day, and if I get any more images, I will put them up after this. Hey look. You know what the drill is, um, if you're new here and you've enjoyed the video and watched it this far, then perhaps you should consider subscribing. If you're not new here and you've been a subscriber for a while and you've enjoyed the content, please like the video. If you want to give me some feedback, please put a comment in the comment section on the YouTube page. Apologies for the disjointed nature of this uh, video. I had, it was pretty unplanned for the most part. Started on Friday when I had the day off work and I thought I'll go to the Foxton Estuary. It's a reliable spot and guess what, no birds. So apologies for that. I am curious as to where they've gone and perhaps um, I'll go I'm told they've gone further south, but perhaps I'll go that way and see where they are. So, hey, look, next time, well, look forward to next time and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.